Okay, folks. We've got ourselves a 2018 International. We're doing the inside cab review. And so this is what's going to go on. We're looking at the... This is the third video on this. This right here is the blinker arm. And it turns... You know, you can push up or down for your blinkers. Uh, it's got the windshield wiper controls there and this right over here is uh, for your door locks and all that I think I done put this in the other review and um, it's also got a arm down here right right there's your for your control thing there for when the computer's hooked up to your truck this right here is an arm that you push down or pull up and it allows you to you can uh, take the arm and push it down and then you can take your pull this in and up it goes down and pulls up uh, you can move it up and down to whichever best fits your your uh, need is uh, what that is but um, that's what we're looking at there then right here we notice here it's got a 12 volt plug-in under here it's got a USB plug-in uh, the radio right here it's got a USB plug-in there and then um, right here's your hazard it's over here on this side and this right here is for your bunk heater make sure that's down Make sure that's down, not up. Make sure it's down to get your bunk heater to work. Your APU unit to crank up has got to be down. And uh, this down here is um, your air control down here. It's got two cup holders here. One's in the door. And on each door, there's two here. It's got a cigarette gadget there. It's got a USB port here and a 12 volt which this here's for like the cigarette and put the cigarette lighter thing there it's got a little compartment here and uh this is all my gadgets i got hooked up here um this right here is uh the gauges got three gauges here one is for the psi and then it's got the oil temperature then it's got your voltmeter which over here has also got uh, your water and then your air pressure on both tanks beneath the door down here down there where your batteries are you got two air tanks you got two cables you pull down there to release them during winter or bad weather when a lot of moisture you just open that door down below the driver door and it's got two cables there you can just pull up to release those two uh, tanks of air to get the moisture out then it's got your fuel tank and your death tank down here and then your oil uh, it's got an oil level right here too right there right, right over here and so um, you know you got your floor lights and all that which is right your floor lights right here see right there it's got floor lights right there and all on those and so uh, right here I wanted to show you right here on this panel uh, you can just pop that up right there it's got all your all your mechanisms there and it's got all these now I want to show you something about this fuse box right here if you having a situation with a light or anything that's like uh, I had a situation on a trailer I picked up and on the right side the lights wouldn't work on the right side they wouldn't blink or nothing they wouldn't do nothing so what I done was if you'll notice right here in the top of these lights here you see them little red them little red things that's resets see these little red things right here them little red things there that's all resets and on all of one of these right here you can press those in the black ones don't have it but the color ones do and you can go in there and just just run your finger over every one of them 
instead of looking down there if you got a situation uh, in the truck or lights just come in here first and pop this lid up and just move all those just go over every one of those right there real quick and uh, get that taken care of and then you can go back out and uh, see if the thing works but more likely than none you just need to reset it just got tripped some way or another and uh, this over here is your passenger door that's your uh, locks there and your window and it's got a door thing there nice curtains got a little compartment right up here and it's got a compartment up here another compartment and I got my CB in here uh, this right here, I had to have the mechanic go in here. I've got all this stuff in here, but um, he had to put a cut the wire there to that and the power cord because it didn't have the proper connection there, and I just had to buy an extra one there. So. I believe that there's the APU unit. I mean, uh, APU unit. <laughs> people net right there. That's the people net we use here. The company I work for. Um, got a camera up there. I got it covered up. It's got a. It's got these lights. It's got the mirror. It's got a mirror over there on that one. It's got the. It's, it's nice. This right here, that there is for the speaker, for this right here on the stern wheel, for your phone. It's very difficult to use that. People think you're in a dungeon somewhere using that. <laughs> you know, it, you you know, going down the road. This this truck is loud. Um, when they put oil in it, they didn't. When they first put oil in it, they they didn't put the proper level of oil because the oil stick on the on the uh, level on the oil stick on the other trucks seem like they're the full mark is way closer to the tip of the stick and this one here was add so they just put they just filled it up to the add mark on the oil stick so when they did when they added the oil just they just put the ad so I was running the truck and you know new truck I didn't check it right there at the start because you know it had 7,000 miles somebody else done drove it <laughs> you know I expect the oil to be you know come out of the shop be at the proper level and the thing would sound like it was about to come flying apart and I said man I, I told my dad I said man this thing here don't sound right it just like I mean shakes and rattles and just I mean it just run horrible so then I, I finally stopped and I checked the oil level and it, and it was all the way down to add. It didn't even have the proper oil level in it. So then I, I added oil all the way back up the stick where it says um, full. I went to the full mark, got back in the truck, run down the road, and man, it run great, smooth as could be. But uh, make sure you check your fuel, let, make sure you check your oil and all your, all your um, levels so that you can make sure that your levels are properly properly uh, adjusted and all. Make sure you get your oil levels taken care of on your fluids because I guarantee you, you don't blow up no engine. Well, folks, that's all for this. Um, you know, the seats here, I will go over a little bit of the seats. Um, let me turn this little light right here on. Got me a little light here. This thing here cost me $90. That little light right there is magnetized on the bottom. Set it outside. But this, the passenger seat, see, it's got all them gadgets over there. The driver's seat does too. That thing goes back and forward real good. Uh, and if you, and another thing, uh, if, if you get one of these trucks, make sure that you get a keyboard I took a little hook. You know, this, this, I got, I got this, um, like this right here. See, I got that little uh, hook right there. All I did is took, um, 
hot glue and glued that on there. That hot glue just peels right off. It don't damage the truck at all. You don't drill holes or nothing in it. You just get that. Get you one of these little gadgets right here. This is one of them cell phone you stick you actually that there's for a cell phone you stick your finger in it and hold your cell phone well I, you know i look at other things and use them a better way so i hooked that on there like that glued it there and then all i do is go over here and take that right there and set it right down in there like that and there it sits there just like that and that there's the best thing to do keep it out of the way it's not in the way and uh when you get ready to type on your people net or quailcom you got you you got you something where you can easily maneuver and use versus trying to use the screen because that's a aggravating that's really aggravating this right here uh moves the seat here back and forwards here that's what that does this part right here just moves that back and forwards on both seats but um you know, I got flag over there, just stubbed in a little crack over there, and then I got my big flag here hanging up. I believe in, pay, uh, you know, being bringing a little bit of patriotism into the truck. And then I got this hat here, which is a little dirty, but it says "Trucker's Prayer." Lord, help! Lord, please help me be safe as I travel each mile. Let your presence guide me and bring me a smile that's neat right there i took this hirschbach hat i work for hirschbach took his hat here they gave me and i took some of that uh weather proof stuff that you spray and sprayed on it <laughs> and this is what it looks like it protects it from bad weather you can do a good hat that way you can't take do a little cheap hat like this <laughs> You can do a real good hat. Uh, I take a trash bag. I take a trash bag and hook it over this uh, arm here for a trash bag. I take a trash bag and hook it over it. Drink my water and drink my my green tea. See, I got green tea. I had green tea earlier. I drank out of here. I drank green tea. Help for weight. Well, folks, just always remember drive safe. Uh, be good to each other. Be good to everybody. And uh, don't get in no trouble out there on the road. If you feel tired or sleepy, make sure you pull over. Get yourself in a safe haven, not on the side of the road. Don't pull on the side of the road. Get yourself in a safe haven. You got to use the bathroom real quick. Get yourself in a safe haven. I was going down the road, and I noticed a, tr a, a truck had pulled over on the side of the road. And I guess a car wasn't paying no attention. And he come down through there and he hit the corner that's closest to the ongoing part of the highway, the slow lane. He came off the slow lane, ran right smack in the corner of the tractor trailer truck's trailer. And his um, driver's side went all the way up under the tractor trailer truck went all the way up under it and the tractor trailer truck came through the the windshield came it came up the hood came up the windshield and was sitting where the driver's seat was now that car had to be flying to venture off the road to do that and i don't know if it killed the driver i don't know any, i just seen that the truck the car was sitting up under the trailer all the way up the driver's seat it's not safe at all to be parking on the side of the interstate you're looking for a bad day all it takes is two seconds for a car to come off the road and it's gonna be bad for you it's gonna be devastating so try to get yourself in a safe haven and try to drive drive careful and um and try to live as good as you can and eat healthy if you can and and uh, get yourself some green tea if you have your set green drink green tea get some that's a antioxidant get that bai bio, bio drinks and drink those try to eat salads and try to live a healthy life to live a lot longer for your family because you're not looking for yourself you're looking for your family your family wants you around a long time driver and folks that listen to this video 
and uh and always try to keep you know ask the lord to help you along the way because uh he can help you i promise you he can help you all you got to do is pray and ask the lord to help you he'll help you well i guess that's all for this and and i hope you enjoyed it thumbs up share and uh, we'll get you on the next video